Okay, this is where the bay boats and the gulf shrimpers come in in Galveston. There's a lot of boats on dock. It's Saturday. There's some people moving around here and there. I haven't seen any shrimp yet, but as soon as I do, I'll find out what sizes they're catching. But there's a lot of boats on the dock. Maybe they've been out last night. We'll find out. Nobody moving any shrimp. Uh, people who own the restaurant at the end of the dock say they came home early today. Well, this is our second visit to Galveston. This is about three weeks later. And it uh, doesn't seem like there's a lot of shrimp coming in. Uh, when I spoke to a gentleman um, at the end of the dock that has a mobile restaurant, he uh, said they all came in early today. So this is three weeks later from our first visit. It seems basically unchanged. They're bringing in sporadic shrimp. It's nothing steady. It's a big system.
grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Gracious and loving God, our Father, many of us have indeed grown weary and many of us have fallen due to the ravages of Hurricane Katrina. But through it all, through it all, we've learned to trust in you. We've learned to depend upon you. We have waited upon you and you have mounted us up as on eagle's wings. And now we're beginning to see that we can run and not grow weary. And we're beginning to walk and not faint. Lord, we are so grateful that in your divine providence you have given us Mr. Barack Obama as our president, a man blessed with extraordinary intelligence and wisdom. Continue to let your Holy Spirit protect him and guide him, inspire him and direct him as he leads us out of the mire clay of Katrina's destructive chaos into the bright light of a new day. Yes, 1,836 souls lost their lives then. And we pray for them as they surely are praying for us. Yes, property losses amounted to more than $135 billion. Yes, homes, businesses, and livelihoods were destroyed. Lord, it is so difficult for us to see any good coming from such a disaster. Yet even though we cannot readily see the good, we still acknowledge that all things work together for good for those that love the Lord. We praise and thank you for every governmental agency, for every person, for every organization, for every institution that has been instrumental in the rebuilding of this beautiful city of New Orleans and the Gulf region. The program of rebuilding is done in your precious name because unless the Lord build the house, they who build it labor in vain. Lord, we want to particularly thank you for the rebuilding of the campus of Xavier University, which under the truly inspired leadership of Dr. Norman C. Francis, Xavier bounced back from the brink of destruction and opened again just five months after Katrina to once again be the beacon of hope as the only Catholic institution among the 102 historically black colleges and universities and the only black college and university founded by a saint. Lord, we also want to thank you for others in leadership at Xavier, Lauren Blanchard, Joseph Burr, Kathleen Kennedy. We want to thank you for Jamie Phillips, by the first jury and Lisa McLean. We want to thank you for Kenneth St. Charles, Mary Gracie, and Calvin Trey. We want to thank you for Warren Bell and Winston Brown and Sister Monica and the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament and all those who serve you in this institution founded by St. Catherine Drexel. We thank you for Archbishop Heyman. We thank you for Mayor Landry. Thank you for each of the other university presidents who had the courage to pick up the pieces and begin anew. The business personnel represented here. May Xavier University be a model of what can happen through your grace and through our faith. And Lord, can we presume upon your mercy and ask just one more favor? Will you please protect and preserve us, we beg you, from future such calamities in the Gulf? Your divine Son, Jesus the Christ, once was asleep in a boat on the Sea of Galilee, and his disciples woke him up fearing that they were about to all perish. He awoke and commanded the storm and the sea, peace be still. And the sea immediately became calm like an obedient child. Grant that he exercise that same power for us in our day over the waters of the Gulf. And may Mary, the Virgin Mother of God and Star of the Sea, and our Mother, intercede with her divine Son on our behalf to spare us and our land. And if you would be pleased to do that, We'll be sure to give you the praise. We'll be sure to give you the glory. Let the people of 